And uh, hello everybody, welcome back to uh, some supernatural uh, revit work. Um, I had a request um, a couple of weeks ago um, asking how do we build a Dutch gable um, style of roof. So um, now Dutch gable can be, uh, there's a couple of names for them, so if we're in uh, Australasia or um, the Americas then it's called a Dutch gable in the UK apparently it is called a gablet so if I have a quick look but this is what we're trying to achieve okay these sort of things here so good old Wikipedia gives us some ideas there okay and the gablet roof is what we're getting here as a sort of definition but Dutch gable commonly that's its common name in the States and Australasia so just go close that little browser window there. Okay, so this is the finished result. Okay, of what we're trying to achieve in Revit. Okay, so what we need to do now is we're just need to open up a fresh project and show you the steps we can use to create this roof. Okay, so I'm just going to very quickly go a new project. Uh, I'm not going to worry about saving this one here. I'm going to open up my architectural template and I'm going to go OK. OK, and it's coming to the elevation um, view immediately. This is the way I've got things set up. OK, this is my default template. Um, so I need to change a couple of things here. Um, I'm not interested in the ground floor line at this stage. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this level here and I'm going to highlight the ground floor ceiling tag on that side by clicking that little square box. What I'm going to do is I'm going to gra drag this level all the way up here. Um, I don't need it so I'm just going to move it away. So it's my f normally my first floor ceiling. Okay, And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this one up about here. Okay, And these are the two levels that are really important to me. So one's the ground floor ceiling okay, where the roof will pitch off this one here I'm going to rename so instead of first floor plan I'm going to call this to make life easy I'm going to call it no okay, I'm just going to call it the Dutch Gable Pitch Point okay click out of there yes I do want to rename all of those I want that to appear in my browser Okay, so what we've got there is we've now got a ceiling and I've got a new pitch point. Okay, right, so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to bother with walls or anything like that, we're just going to build our ceiling straight from here. So I'm going to go to my ground floor ceiling plan. So I'm just going to double click in there. Okay, can't see anything because nothing has been drawn. So I'm going to my architecture tab. Okay, I'm going to go roof, roof by footprint. Okay, I'm going to go in here. I don't want a generic 400, they look ugly. Okay, grab my generic 125. Okay, and I'm just going to grab my rectangle tool at this stage. And all I'm going to do is draw a rectangle here. A roof approximately that size. For the purposes of this exercise, I'm not worried about accuracy. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I've got I'm going to go into my properties. Okay, I've got my slope here or the pitch. Okay, it's currently 30 degrees. Um, I'll leave it at that. It's not convention, not a conventional pitch in Australia, but we'll use it for now. Okay, and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish that roof. Actually, no, we're not going to come back very quickly. We're going to go base level. We've got a cut off level here. At the moment, it's none. Okay. So I'm going to go ground floor ceiling. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that this roof cuts off at my Dutch gable pitch point. Now I'm going to apply it. And now I'm going to finish the sketch. Okay, so if I look around there, spin it around. Okay, and as you can see, the roof stops at this point here. If we look at a quick look at elevation. Okay gone over a little bit but that's because if we highlight that we can actually see the bottom of the truss there 
and that point there it is the bottom of the top cord that has been cut off not the rest of the roof right now to finish this drawing we're going to go to our Dutch gable pitch point level okay and what we need to do here is we just need to build a second roof okay so I go architecture roof roof by footprint go to my properties first so my base level is the Dutch gable pitch point my cutoff level is going to be none because I want this roof to finish okay so now I can go to my drawing tools up here and click on that I can match my rectangle here so the base of this roof matches so the start of this roof matches the end of this roof okay I'm going to keep the slope the same but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on this line here I'm going to hold the control key down and I'm going to select that side as well okay and I'm going to come up here I can do it either from my options bar or all my properties and I'm going to uncheck define slope and if you've followed me in my previous um, lessons we know that unchecking the slope on a hip and valley roof creates a gable now all I need to now do is click to finish the drawing tool there we go there's our ridge line there and if I spin that into 3D there we go okay I'll just drop that into consistent colors okay so I can spin that around okay that's looking pretty good there the roof pitch is consistent in that way so that's all 30 degrees okay so that's basically it so you can apply this principle for a mansard roofs um, and other you know the the original Dutch gable style so it's um yeah it's a good way of getting um, you know different roof shapes and styles into a design um, incidentally it's a bit of a um, Dutch gables not used as strongly in Australia anymore but um, yeah, they make a nice little design change once in a while righty ho uh, that's all from me folks so like I said it's just a very quick lesson someone asked me and um, I hope that um, um, this will help so um, we'll see you later